All right, I want to start by saying Barakatha Yahawu, Barakatha Yaharashai, Barakatha Yahawu, Barakatha Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawu Bashim Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawu Bashim Yaharashai, Bashim Makak Wadash, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that told us doctrine and truth and sincerity. Shallow on to elect the Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means he is or he exists. Bashim in the name of his only begotten Son, who will ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, we know his name to be. Harashai, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. Bashim in the name of the Rakak Wadash, which means the Holy Spirit, that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. If you're so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or of the speckled bird, looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahab Bashim and Rashai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went on falling after false gods and false idols. Now following the law, such commitments that was given to us by our forefathers, and because of those offenses, we were sent in captivity. But through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the very elect, the ones that would be quickened with the understanding of the scriptures, and they would be able to know what time that we're in. And we're in the time of prophecy being fulfilled, and what perilous times, wars and rumors of wars, class wars and civil wars. And the Lord is calling his elect to repent and come back to the Lord. While two thirds of our people are going to reject Yahab Hashem Shai in his hands, you know, uh, his prophets, his message. And they're going to get caught up in the destruction. Okay, because what we're seeing around the world is a downfall of a kingdom that was, you know, uh, built in vain. That wasn't built upon Yahab Hashem Shai. And if it's not built upon um, Yahabah Shema Shai, then it's going to be destroyed, okay? Because that is the everlasting kingdom. And this is a kingdom that was set up to rule for a short period of time, and now it's at its last, last uh, end, okay? And what we're seeing is around the world, um, you know, the, um, the destruction of a wicked kingdom, okay? And so um, right here, protesting farmers clash with police outside EU parliament in Brussels. Okay, so over there in what the UK, the EU, okay, which a lot of EU is what part of the NATO, which is part of what um, America, okay, uh, and part of the B system. America spearheads the charge and NATO and EU are what join unto, um, you know, join unto what the B system, okay, and so um, over there in the EU and in the UK, they are what pushing an agenda to have the people um, bow down to their government by telling them not not to farm. OK, that they can't, you know, uh, be able to create their own business. OK, and then and what Esau Edom's doing is creating what a siege, which is a military tactic to have those inside bowing down. OK, and in that, that's pushing what a civil civil arrest. OK, on to, towards the people. Let's get a quick scripture. <clears throat> These are the things that the Lord said that would be happening in the latter times. Okay, the division, the division amongst people and, and what their beliefs are, because the wicked would try to what push their agenda through, um, you know, their legislation through what ultimately draconian measures. Okay, and people would what um, bug up against that, you know, against their kings and priests because they would see them as unrighteous decrees. Okay, so this is Mark 3 and 24 in the NLT. A kingdom divided by civil war will collapse. And that's what you see. You have a kingdom divided because they are actually, the elites are fighting at the top over certain resources to bring in their new world order. Okay, which is the Nova Soda Socorum, which is on the back of your dollar bill, which is a one world government, a one world religion, um, a one world military. And then that one world religion is you bowing down to the beast system and having a mark embedded inside your hand or your forehead. Okay, and whether whether it's the beast system or it's Russia and the BRICS nations, all these heathen nations all want the mark of the beast, okay? And with that, they know that they're going to have a lot of backlash, okay? And that's why they're cutting off certain resources to, to have the people, um, you know, go only their way. That's um, part of their, um, one of their methods that the elites use, okay, the so-called white man uses, is the Hegelian dialectic, which is pressure from below, pressure from above, okay? Mark 3 and 24, a kingdom divided by civil war will collapse, Okay, and that's what they're in. They're in a civil war. Okay, they're erupting against what their, um, you know, their own um, government officials. Okay, and in that, that's going to lead to more and more uh, chaos. Okay, and the Lord Yahweh Shai spoke about this that would happen. 
Okay, Mark 21, and this is prophecy. Mark 21 <clears throat> and 9, it says, But when you shall hear wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Okay, and that's what you see also happening is Russia rising up against America. Okay, but you also have what the um, the class wars and the civil wars. Okay, which is what Egyptian against Egyptian. Isaiah 19 and 2, I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor and city against, um, sorry, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Okay. And that's what you see um, being played out. Okay. Where there, um, you know, there's a couple of videos or whatever on the, on the actual thing, I believe on Twitter <clears throat> and um, basically showing what's going on. Okay. So police and riot. So um, again, the Egyptian modern day Egypt is what America, okay, um, going into um, the bondage that we're in, and also all the all the idols that you see, okay, in America, what fornicates um, with all these different nations and pushes their agenda that they have over there, okay, to what follow their ways to you know to reign one hour with the beast, as far as to to worship their image, okay. It says police and riot gear used water cannons and fired rubber bullets at the hundreds of European farmers protesting outside the EU Parliament building in Brussels on Thursday. Okay. Massive crowd of farmers have gathered outside the EU Brussels to pro pro Sakia, to protest against the climate agenda that is destroying livelihood. So in this protest where they're put where they're pushing, uh, you know, Esau Edom is pushing climate change. What climate change is, is so they can be able to tax you on everything that you do, your carbon emissions, you know, how many times you breathe. OK, um, <clears throat> these different uh, cow when the, when the cow, you know, uh, cow farts, they want to they want to test that. That's why the, the farmers, they're they're taxing them. OK, on every little thing. Right. Let's show a little bit of this video. Yeah, and it speaks about in the scriptures how, you know, when, when the wicked are put down, the people start to, uh, the people rejoice, okay? They're, they go into what, uh, I believe it's uh, jeers, okay? And that's what they're, that's what the people are doing right now, just at the destruction of their own, you know, their own government uh, thing, they're, you know, they're in awe because they know that it's wicked, okay? And, and with all, let me get the scripture real quick. All right, so that's one of the videos. Let me show another one. So this is what they're actually doing. They're they're spraying down um, the different officials, um, you know, uh, monuments or whatever you want to call them, right? Okay, so that's what's going on. They're starting to uh, spray these different uh, places, right? Which is going to lead to you know certain businesses closing. Also, it's going to lead to what um, unrighteous decrees, where Esau Edom can be able to come in like a flood, because through all these things happening, they actually want martial law. Okay, they want violence because Esau Edom is a violent man. Okay, but first they want to try to deceive you. Okay, but now they're they're seeing that that what that veil that was once upon um, these certain governments is now being revealed to all. Okay, let me get that scripture. Isaiah 25 and 7. Isaiah 25 and 7. He will destroy his mountain. It's like it. He will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all the people and the veil that is spread over all the nations. So now the veil that was once on, um, you know, America, okay, is now being seen what it actually is. That it's nothing but a haunted house. It's not a beacon of light. It's nothing but a... Um, a, a, a you know um, a ghetto, okay. That's what Esau Edom has made it. It was it once was a beautiful land, Azareth, you know, all, you know, a beautiful land, okay. And now it's what um, basically you know circling the drain, 
Okay, and a mountain is symbolic to what government. Okay, a veil is sim, you know, symbolic to what the covering. People were not paying attention. Okay, George Carlin said that, uh, you know, to be able to receive the American dream, you actually have to be asleep. You have to be asleep to not pay attention to to what your government is actually doing, which government in itself means mind control. Okay, and that's also going for these other nations that have been under the banner of America, you know, following after the beast system. Okay, and now what they're um, by them following, you know, the elites as far as at the top, their agenda, what their their um, cities are being destroyed. OK, it says, um, according to reports, farmers have broken through the barricades outside of parliament and also ignited smoke bombs. OK, um, so this is uh, said to, that it would happen. OK, this is prophesied. I just read it in Luke 21. OK, Mark 3. OK. <clears throat> And also in what, um, let's play a little bit of this real quick. So this is right there in their, basically their uh, main street or their Broadway or whatever you want to call it, uh, their downtown <clears throat> in the area. And this is what's going on right now. All right. This is no sound. Yeah, so eventually they're going to come in and do something about this, and that's going to be revolt against the government. Okay, this is uh, so this is Second Ezra's eight and fifty. For many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time that shall dwell in the world because they walked in great pride, and that's why the Lord's beginning to what judge these certain places because they have walked in great pride. Okay, they have um, you know, received liberty, received gifts. Okay, but they didn't know that they come from Yahabba Shemalashai. OK, and in that, um, you know, being disobedient, um, these people are going to be judged. OK. Through what the, the, the bloodshed, the strife, the calamity that's going to be upon the world. Right. This is second Ezra six and. And twenty two, and this is going to lead to all these different events happening. Second Ezra six and twenty two. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. And the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Yeah, because um, with, uh, you know, these different events, what do they do? They begin to close down certain areas. They begin to close down downtowns and these different malls and these different, um, you know, stores. Okay, which is eventually leads to where people don't have certain resources. Okay, or people don't have jobs. Right. Which leads to what? The order out of chaos. Okay, order out of chaos in the Latin, which is another method that Esau Edom uses. Problem, action, solution. Second Ezra six and twenty three shall a trumpet be it says, and the trumpet shall give a sound which every man shall hear it <laughs> shall suddenly be afraid. Yeah, that's we're blowing the trumpet right now. Far as telling you that there's going to be great plagues upon the earth and that a king is coming to town, and we're in the midst of uh, these different birth pains before what a son is born. <laughs> you know, our Lord Yahweh Shai what eventually coming back and putting down all rulership and authority. Okay, but when that trumpet. Sounding is these different police forces, you know, rounding off. Then you're going to have the the purge sounds, you know, the different broadcasts that are going to be going around, the people screaming, the people on, okay, the ravaging of, of different people, okay, is going to be ugly. It's going to be a day of darkness and gloominess, okay? That's why it speaks about Amos, who are you to desire the day of the Lord? Because do you even know what the day of the Lord entails? That's why it's important to, to get right, to get right with yourself, okay? Um because the, the judgment is coming down and you're seeing it by uh, these different false prophets. They're just, they're doubling down on their wickedness. They've been reproved. They've been rebuked. Now they want to try to double down on certain things. Okay. Showing you that we're at our last end. They're, they're desperate because they're trying to hold on to something that they, they, you know, basically never had. Okay. Unless they repent. Okay. And that's, that goes for everybody in the world. They're holding on to, to things that are going to be destroyed. While the, the hopeful elect are holding on to Yahabba Shemashai and cleaving unto this word. Okay? Because we hear the trumpet being blown. Okay? And and we hear the voice of Yahabba Shemashai, which is the voice of the prophets. Right? Second Ezra 6 and 24. At the time, friends shall fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear. So also you have a certain family members in these different uh, governments that are, you know, probably um, 
you know, you have the farmers on one side and then you have family members that are probably in the government. So what is that going to create? Egyptian against Egyptian, brother against brother, right? City against city, right? Second Ezra 6 and 24, a, a, a division, because that's what Yaharashai is uh, coming to bring is what division, okay? A variance, right? Second Ezra 6 and 24, at the time, friends shall fight one against another like enemies in the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein, the springs of the fountains, shall stand still in the three hours they shall not run so the fountains shall stand still okay goes into this truth okay and we'll say in 11 there's going to be a famine of the word because in this they're going to bring in what martial law and that's going to have where they can be able to come into your house they already have that in america that if you're within 100 miles of the border they can be able to come into your house and and, and basically do whatever they want so if you don't have this truth okay which the the truth is known as a a, a water Okay, and springs springs of uh, living water. Okay, if you don't have this truth, you're not going to be able to survive um, in the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, in the hour of temptation where Esau Edom implements his uh, mark of the beast. But be, um, even during that, you have what the the famine, the bloodshed, the strife, and different and these different uh, you know friends fighting one against another. Okay, let me read this again. Second Ezra six and twenty four. At the time, friends shall fight one against another like enemies. That's what you see going on. The earth shall stand in fear. Yeah, people in fear because they don't know where their, their next meal is going to come. Okay, and these different farmers, their their livelihood is at jeopardy. Okay, when James 5 and 1, or James 5 speaks about that. Okay, that the, the laborers will begin to, what um, you know, begin to be angry. Lord 1, I, I go to that. Okay, it says, At the time, friends shall fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain, so that's the uh, the truth, right, shall stand still. Yeah, you're not going to be able to have it um, unless you already had it, okay? Far as you're not, you, they're gonna, people are going to wander to and fro to what seek the word. They're going to be on the internet, but the internet, um, they might not even uh, be um, having where we're on the internet, okay? Or the Lord might have us where the, the prophets, what, um, their tongue cleaves to the roof of their mouth, meaning that there's no more reproving, meaning that the elect are already sealed and now the judgments are going to be in set, okay? And also that goes into also the, the waters too, okay? The physical waters, you know, far as the, um, it's not going to be running to certain areas. Also, um, you know, again, friends fighting one against another, the food, okay? Because they're going to say, hey, it's too dangerous. We can give you food, but you have to come to our center, Okay, our what fifteen minute center or our, our green zone center or these different places that they say that are nice places but are actually set up as ways that they can be able to um, infiltrate you because again when you go through um, a certain tragedy like for instance over there in Hawaii where they had those fires that was a great tragedy and what it, what do they do Esau Edom comes in with his red cross which red cross is it goes back to uh, you know uh, Esau Edom that cross goes back to Tammuz okay and they come in. And then they offer you all these things, and then the people don't know what's going on. So they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, you know, you got something in your body that you didn't want. Okay, so this is where, the, and, and that's going into ultimately the mark of the beast. Okay, because they're going to offer it in vain. They're not going to force it. Okay, but they're going to cause it by forming and fashioning a society to bow down to it. Okay, but the elect are not going to bow down to, to ball. Okay. So uh, 2 Ezra 6 and 25, whoever remain from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of the world. And who's going to be able to escape? The very elect. The ones that understand this message, the ones that are calling upon the name of Yahweh Shema Shai, the ones that endure to the end. Okay. So it says breaking farmer protests escalating at EU parliament with barricades breached and fires ignited. Okay, it says we want to stop these crazy laws that come every single day from European Commission, say, says uh, Jose Maria Castillo, farmers in Brussels representing Spanish. Uh, yep, and that's right. So what are they pushing? They're pushing what? Unrighteous decrees. Isaiah 10 and 1, it says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and write grievances which they have prescribed. What do they say? They're, they're tired of these different uh, laws that they're just passing every day. Okay, because they're able to pass whatever they want. Okay, and that's through what their um, their policy. Let me go to, I always go to this. This is in the NET. Slack you. Let 
because even with their policy, they have certain, you know, Bill of Rights or Constitution, right? But they're not even following those. Revelation 13, 11, where it speaks about the draconian measures. They're just making up their own thing. So right here, this is in the NET. It says those who enact unjust policies, and that's what they do. They're pushing their policies by what the propaganda that they push, okay, by having certain events, and then they can be able to come in and have the solution for it. Those who enact unjust policies are good as dead. Those who are always instituting unfair regulations, and through those unfair regulations, okay, um, what you're seeing is a revolt against the government, okay? Yep, I'll read this, Isaiah 10 and 2, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. And that's what a lot of people are going to be falling into because the Lord hasn't woken up everybody. The Lord's only waking up his elect. Okay, so they're going to fall for what the, uh, these different um, things, you know, these different uh, uh, traps and snares that Esau Edom has set up. Okay, because he's actually praying for you so-called, you know, praying, you know, P-R-E-Y, praying or pray on, on, on the weak. Okay. Because we're seen as weak, we're seen as feeble, but the Lord is what given us, uh, um, is going to give us strength. Okay, He's going to give us that standard in that time um, when it gets ugly. Okay, this is, uh, let me see. Yeah, because through our, our weakness or, or, you know, whatever that, you know, um, you know, may be weak, the Lord, it makes that strong. Okay. This is a uh, second Ezra 15 and about 15, second Ezra 15 and 15 for the sword and the destruction draw nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. And that's what they're doing. Who are they fighting against? For there shall be sedition among men, evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the, and the course of their actions they shall stand in their power. Yes, yeah, sedition is a revolt against the government. Why? Because of the things that that you um, that the government is pushing. They're put, pushing unrighteous decrees, draconian measures. So in that you have what um, these these uh, people not regarding their kings nor princes, and they're going up to these different uh, you know these. Um, you know, different forms of governments and they're, you know, shooting water and, and, and uh, doing all these certain things. OK, you know, vandalism and things like that. So that's going to lead to where what you saw is going to come in like a flood. OK, which is this that's fulfilling prophecy. A man shall desire to go in a city and shall not be able. Yeah, you're not going to be able to go in that, that certain city after a while because what it's going to be all burned down. OK, all the resources are going to be stolen and everybody's going to be packing up and moving from there as far as their different businesses. Okay, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And that's what you're going to see. Okay, and that's what you're beginning to see in these certain cities. Okay, where people are beginning to be afraid. And what are they doing? They're locking up with um, other people that are afraid. Okay, and what happens when you're afraid? You you know, you do all sorts of things. Okay, and, and uh, the only the only person that we fear is Yahab HaShem HaShat because we know that he has our back. You know, you're not supposed to fear men. OK, but again, we are in the in the flesh. So, you know, you're going to have, you know, you might have a family or, or whatever that you're, you know, um, that you're with. OK, and this is going to be what trying times, a trying and testing of your faith. OK, because of this 18 for because of the pride of the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and the men shall be afraid. Yeah, because of the pride. OK, because the Lord's only coming back for what the meek and the lowly. OK, the meek, the ones that want to get the understanding. Okay, and the lowly, the ones that are set at a low estate, and we know that only the Lord, Yahabashim Shai, can be able to raise this up. Okay. It says, uh, we won't, it says, we want to stop these crazy laws that come every single day from the European Commission, said Jose Maria Castillo, a farmer in Brussels representing his Spanish farmers. Okay. The protests come as EU leaders met to discuss 50 billion in aid package for Ukraine, okay, would be added to the summit agenda saying it. And there, there's something, you know, there's a lot of things that are coming out about Ukraine and, they, and every single, um, you know, thing. It's like there's something going on there as far as we know that they have super soldiers and, and you know, they have all sorts. Of, there's been so much things coming out, but everything goes back to that. 
okay? And you see the EU is doing the same thing as America. Why? Because of the same people, okay? They're, they're under the same uh, B system, right? So discussing that, there was one part I want to get. It says, the growing unrest over Europeans' punishment of farmers has also been seen in Italy, Portugal, France, Greece, and Germany. What are those? All EU, all NATO countries, right? As farmers that are joined until what America... As farmers express outrage over green regulations and cheap imports, okay? So that's going right into the food, right? Second Ezra 15, we're just there. 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Yeah, because these are the farmers that bring in um, a lot of people. Um, if you're by a farm, you would just go to a farm. Why would you go to a, a, a grocery store? If you had all the, the natural resources, and that's what Esau Edom is doing. He's creating a siege by cutting off those different things. And now you're seeing this. <laughs> and that, it looks like out of a movie. You have John Deere, uh, you know, John Deere is driving through this, driving through whatever the city. Okay. Looks like a movie, but, but again, this is actually what's going to be played out. And these things are going to escalate because you're going to start to see. We, we have even seen it, the different tanks that are showing up. You saw that over there in China when they when they debanked those people, where they, they froze their bank account. Then they had the tanks in front of the bank. OK, and this is coming to America. This is coming to Babylon the Great because Babylon the Great has that X on it. When brothers, the, the eclipse, OK, I believe it was 2017 and 2024, the eclipse, Luke 21 and 25 speaks about the uh, perplexity. Okay, the wanting of all things, and it also speaks about the uh, the signs and the sun and the moon and the stars. Okay, so we're we're at that time. So you know, brothers, gear up. And, and what happens when they cut off the gas? Or they those lights go out, okay? Once those lights go out and all you don't got no gas, how are you going to travel around in them tractors and do all that stuff you're doing? See, Esau Edom could cut that cut that stuff off. But again, the Lord is in control in every, everything. Shall there be trouble in the city and the people not be afraid? Okay. Okay, so we get the point. Amos 3 and 6, it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city? And Yahweh by Hashem Shai had not done it. So the Lord is the one that's doing all these things. He's what? He's doing a great work. Okay, because he's coming to judge those that have made void the law. Right? It says, uh, Breaking farmers target European Parliament in Brussels as anger sweeps through farming communes in Europe, protesters in Belgium have begun to build barricades and start fires outside the EU parliament. They're, pro they're protesting new environmental regulations, they call. Yeah, they don't, unrighteous decrees. Okay. And there was a, there was one more point I want to get. Because they were taxing them. So let's see. Um, well, anyway, what they're doing, I forgot what that part is, but they're, they're basically, yeah. Yeah, right here. It says they have been demanding the European leaders to stop punishing them right with more taxes and imposing higher costs to finance the so-called green agenda. OK, so this goes into this right here. James five and one, because they are they are taxing people for what uh, these different green emissions, these carbon uh, footprints. OK, which is going into the climate change, because, again, going they want to measure it. when you breathe that you have to pay for that. You have sex with your wife. You got to pay for that. You go to you eat a, a certain amount of food, far as a, a level of food. Okay, um, that's why it speaks about Leviticus twenty six and twenty six that food shall be rationed. Okay, um, and 
what the food rationing okay people are going to be like what you know because people basically eat seven meals a day here in babylon the great so imagine if now you got to eat uh three bugs a day or whatever whatever the the type of thing this is the dystopian society that's coming upon babylon the great and this is what it says um that if you're rich change five and one okay misuse of riches warning to the rich okay who's the rich esau edom he's the one they're the ones at the top they've been given the fatness of the earth okay it says go now you rich men Weep and howl for your misery shall come upon you. Yeah, you're not going to be able to ride in your Bentleys, you know, drive on your jets anymore. That's over with. You're not going to be able to fly to your islands. Okay, let's read this NLT. Look here, you rich people. Weep and groan with your anguish because of your terrible troubles ahead of you. Read in the NLT. Your wealth is rotting away and your fine clothes are moth-eaten rags. Okay. Your gold and your silver have become worthless. Okay. In, and gold and silver, you know, is always has a value, okay. But the thing is, it's become worthless because of what is cankered, okay. Because you, um, because of the the how you got it, right? You got it through what um, unrighteous. You got it through um, rape, rob, and pillaging. But I want to get that scripture. This is Sirach ten. Sirach ten and. Eight, because of unrighteous dealings and injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated one people to another. And that's what's happening. You got it by what uh, injuries and, and, and dealings and unrighteous dealings, right? James 5 and 3, your gold and your silver have become worthless. Their very wealth you were counting on will eat away at your flesh like fire. This treasure you have accumulated, Saki, accumulated, will stand as evidence against you on that day of judgment. And what do they have? They have us in their hands, Right. So that's going to be a, a day of judgment. He that have a, a man in his hands, you know, um, what is that? Exodus. Because we are in captivity. Okay. Exodus 21 and 16. And he that stealeth the man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And aren't we, don't we have a, 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 don't we have a birth certificate? Don't we have a social security card? Okay. So that's how you know that you're not free. Okay. This is James 5. And three or five and four, it says, for listen here, the cries of the field workers, the cries of the field workers, right? Those farmers, right? For listen here, the cries of the field workers whom you have cheated of their pay. You're making them pay more than they, they should be paying, right? You have cheated of their pay. The wages you held back cry out. And that's also going into, uh, you know, the taxes, you know, every day you get, you know, every day at work, you get tax, right? You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to pay a man each day. Okay. After after he's worked, it says the wage you held back against you cries of those who harvest your fields. Those who harvest your fields have reached the ears of the Lord of the heaven of armies. You have spent your years in earth in luxury, satisfying your every desire. You have fattened yourselves for the day of slaughter. OK, you have fattened yourselves for the day of slaughter. So there's a judgment um, for being evil and being wicked. Okay, and the riches shall not profit you in the day of wrath. So with that, call Allah Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakodash, Shalom to Allah, Kwame Yashallah.